Hey, it's a mogwai, it's a mug. Here's your look at the Mondo Tiki's Gremlin Stackable Ceramic Tiki Mug Set. You know the rules, but can you remember to follow them? The Mogwai Tiki Stackers are three mini mugs that can be stacked onto one Tiki Totem. Each mini mug holds approximately eight ounces and represents a different Mogwai with a rule rune on the back. Gizmo with water, Stripe with bright lights, and a hungry Mogwai with a feeding after midnight. Designed by Michael Bonanno, sculpted by Tom Thorne Thorderson, and produced with the gremlins at Tiki Farm. The Mogwai Tiki stackers will remind you that some rules shouldn't be broken, but can be fun if they are. This Gizmo Kaka variant of the Mogwai Tiki stackers features a classic Tiki brown glaze. Before we get a closer look at some rather mischievous Mogwais, I'd like to first thank the folks over at Mondo, who did provide this sample of the Gremlins Mogwai Tiki Mug Stacker that we can have a look at in this video. Now, there are several different color variants available over on their website. I'll encourage you guys to certainly check out their website if you have a little bit of time. I'll provide it in the video description. The provided color, though, that they gave me in this sample review was actually the Gizmo Kaka variant. I kid you not, that's the name of it. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna measure them together as you can certainly stack them together. I'm gonna start things off first with inches, flip that around. Collectively stacked on top of one another, you're looking at the total stack of the Tiki Mug Gizmo and the rest of the Gremlins being seven inches in height. Now that works out to be a Tiki Mug stacker that's about, well, just a little over 17 centimeters tall. Then if you were to look at them individually, going from here to the very top of the head, well, each individually are only about two and a half inches in height, or roughly about, I'd say, six centimeters tall. Each one of these ceramic mugs is two pounds in weight, and it holds eight ounces of liquid. And the beauty of these is obviously the fact that you can stack them on top of one another, which each one of the mogwai having a different expression and different rune symbol on the back of its body. Now I have put them in the order of how they would have appeared in the movie, Gremlin being Gizmo on the top, of course gets exposed to water, the hungry mogwai in the middle being fed after midnight, and an evil stripe down below being exposed to sunlight. You can, of course, change the order, but this is the order that we're going to be looking at in this review. Picking up, though, the first one, I'll first of all show you guys the inside of it. It does hold, like I said, eight ounces of liquid. That's a fair bit, actually, if you're looking to pass this around at parties. Now, this one does have, again, in all the cases here, very different and unique expressions on their face. In this case, this is, again, the Kaka variant, which actually does work well for a character like Gizmo being already a brown color anyways. The expression on his face is actually quite jovial. He does have little squinted eyes, a big smile on his face. And while it may actually look like it's just Gizmo's head, upon closer inspection only do you notice the big, long, big, large mogwai ears. But you also notice furry little arms on the sides and tiny little feet down below as well. Each one of them also have a base that sticks a little further out that allows it to line up properly when you're looking to stack them on top of one another. As mentioned, there is a rune symbol here on the back. And in this case, for this Mogwai of, Grem of Gizmo, he actually does have the symbol of water. Obviously, that leads to all the problems that we see in the rest of the movie. Poor Gizmo does get wet. The next one after that, at least in the order that I put it in, was the Hungry Mogwai. As you can see, he's hungry by the sense he does have his little mouth sticking out, a little tiny tongue too. Now this one actually, if you were to compare the two, does have a very different looking detail done to it. It's not simply just a case where they would have reused the same shape or same sculpt of the two. They are completely different from one another. And in this case, as we spin this around, I certainly debate the whole rules of gremlins. How does that really work anyways? This one is do not feed after midnight, but technically eight in the morning is also after midnight. Where do we cut that off? Where do we stop and say, hey, after midnight only goes to a several hours after that, and then it's going to be morning afterwards. But I do like the idea that in this rune symbol, they've actually got the crescent moon and a drumstick sitting inside of that. All these arrows and triangular shapes that they've also sculpted into it. While it still looks like a gremlin or a mogwai in this case, it does have certainly more of that tiki vibe to it. And again, holds the same amount of liquid in the top. The last one is Stripe. 
There's only a very mild indication that's stripe indicated by the fact that he's kind of got like a little bit of that mohawk there sculpted on the front. He has actually very much the same similar kind of head sculpt as the Hungry Mogwai, other than the fact that this one doesn't have the tongue sticking out. I think actually one nice touch that they could have done also for a case like stripe is being that to spin this around, you can see he's exposed the sunlight. I think it would have been also a nice touch in this case too, that not to give him necessarily the same squinted eyes as the other ones, although to be fair, it does keep things consistent, but I wonder if they could have actually put X's in the eyes, because of course we know what all happens when they're exposed to sunlight. Again, with each one of these, you don't have to necessarily stack them in, in the order that I put them in. If you wanted to stack them completely different, you can certainly do that as well. On the bottom of each one of them, it just indicates that the gremlins and all related characters and elements are trademarks and of Warner Brothers Entertainment. And again, with these, if you really wanted to, you can change the order completely. So if you want to have, for example, the Hungry Mogwai on the bottom, you can then put Gizmo on top of that. And why not have your own Tiki Tower with Stripe on the top of it? I really like these. I kind of like the idea. I always really wanted to get myself a tiki bar in the back of my backyard. And kind of the idea of getting collectible tiki mugs like this go along with that idea. I like the idea of also having these in a color variation. Where, again, if you go over to their website, there's several different color options that they have available on their site. But they just happened in this case, provided to me the Gizmo Kaka variant. Which not only is a good play to the words of what they actually say in the movie... But also for Gizmo, it works quite well with the color scheme that that particular Mogwai is in the movie anyways. Now, tiki mug collecting is a very niche kind of thing. Not everybody is going to be collecting tiki mugs, but the ones that you'll meet, they have quite elaborate collections of tiki mugs from all around the world. I only have a few myself, certainly not ones of gremlins or any pop culture characters, but I have some rather interesting looking tiki mugs I should really show you guys one day. I am myself a kind of open to the idea of collecting more tiki mugs, and especially when you get into cool collectibles like this that tie into movie franchises that I'm already a big fan of. Case in point, for example, like the Mogwais here, the neat thing I really like about these, not only is the fact that they stack on top of one another that you can change as well the configuration, but that each one of the Mogwais that stack on top of itself are all differently expressioned faces, but they're not simply just using the same looking face and just simply doing that times three. I mean, in this case, I do kind of like the idea that each one of them is represented by kind of the element, the rune that they're attached to. Gizmo with the water, the Hungry Mogwai with the Don't Feed After Midnight, and then Stripe with Exposure to Sunlight. Although, again, I think with, with Stripe, I think it would have been a fun touch for them to actually put X's over top of the eyes, indicating that that Mogwai is dead. Although, again, they're probably going to want to keep the faces close to one another and only just slightly changing one of the expressions from one to the other. So, like, Stripe has the open, sort of grimacing teeth. Uh, Gizmo has the big smiling face. And, of course, the Hungry Mogwai has the big tongue sticking out. This one was also, again, provided by a Mondo. This is the Kaka version, but there's a couple of other different color variations available over on their website. And if this is something that you guys could see yourself getting into collecting, the price point for this variant was $70. Since, unfortunately, though, it has sold out over on their website, but again, I'll provide the link down below in the video description, if you are a big fan of collecting tiki mugs or could maybe see yourself going down that rabbit hole, definitely check out their website. And you can see a whole line, a whole lineup of tiki mugs that Mondo Tees are producing over there. Once again, a big thank you to the folks over at Mondo that did provide the sample of the Gremlins Mogwai tiki mug stackers that we could have a look at in this video. Kaka variant. <laughs> kind of looks a little like caramel, but Kaka is a lot funnier. If you enjoyed this video, certainly hit it with a like. If you're loving the content you're seeing and certainly want to stick around for more, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. If you are certainly interested to check out more from Mondo, and then popping up at the very end of this video as well will be a playlist of other things I've looked at from Mondo over the years, with many more to follow. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.